I'll just go ahead and get y'all something to sip on because we got a little story time today. If you're new to my channel, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you can get notified when I upload videos because we are uploading videos every single day. Yay, so happy Vlogmas. Okay, so today is day three of Vlogmas. It's getting kind of crazy. I was already excited about doing Vlogmas because I felt like this was a great way to get comfortable with being in front of the camera, posting videos, editing videos. I'm just really trying to have fun in it and not worry about, oh, we got to gain this amount of subscribers. We got to do this. We got to do that. I'm happy I'm doing it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. We are already at five subscribers. Oh my gosh crazy um the second of december is my twin daughter's birthday i always feel really weird when it's time to do like your first birthday party because what can they really do anyway so in that i'm doing vlogmas i was like let's do something christmas themed let's just get out the house let's just let's just do something different ciao ended up running across something on facebook which was lighting up the tree in Dallas and they had it this year at Clyde Warren Park so I thought that was gonna be so cute because we got married there and that was seven years ago so it's a big thing in Dallas now they made a whole park thing on top of one of our busiest highways so it's like a main attraction in Dallas in the heart of like the museum and the arts district we decided to go it started at three we ended up getting there like a little bit after four my sister was already there so we had to wait around and link up with her and y'all it was so many people I don't know why i just honestly didn't think it would be this packed but i should have thought it's a free event they have all these activities they had uh pictures with santa they had face painting they had balloons um and then they always have the little food trucks you have to purchase that but it was, it was just a vibe and it was so many people out there it wasn't the worst experience it was the worst experience to try and get content like trying to record with all the kids and still keep track of everybody and <sighs> it was just a lot let's start from the beginning when we first got there immediately we seen the balloon you know, the people that make the balloons up or whatever so we got in that line it was so many people it was like five six seven lines starting from the front starting from the back they had a balloon person start at the back come to the front it was crazy i think we ended up getting into that line a little bit like 4 45 5 o'clock they had a sign that says okay we're not doing any more um balloons past 5:45 because that's when the lighting of the tree performance and everything that's when that was supposed to get started okay so we're in the line or whatever we're about to be next and then somebody hits us and they're like hey um you guys weren't in line we weren't in line we've been standing here for almost 45 minutes and you're gonna tell us we're not in line so we had to get out of that line, go all the way to the back of the other line. And this was so freaking funny to me because I had my grandma with me. And you would honestly have to know my grandma to know how she is. But it was this guy. That, so I said in the beginning, they had people doing balloons here. The line roped around and was like this, right? So we were here in line. They told us that we weren't in line. And that we were skipping it so we were just like okay we don't want no problems we go to the end of the line we go to the end of the line it's a guy at the end of the line because like I said it's it's coming this way it was crazy it was crazy 
was crazy. So you got people, they have the balloon people here in the front of the line, and then it curves around, and it loops around, and then there's somebody at the end doing balloons as well. Okay, so we're thinking, okay, we don't want to get anybody's way. We don't want anybody to think we're skipping them, so we're going to go to the very end of the line where there's a guy doing balloons. Okay, so we get to the end of the line. We get up to the guy, and he's like, no, we're done. We're done. The line is closed. The line is closed. And we're like, what is going on? <laughs> and then y'all know we can't act up because when you act up, then you're the mad black woman or the mad black man. You want to cause a scene. But y'all, it was so frustrating. And it was just so funny to me because... <laughs> The line is looped, right? And there's the man at the end of the line doing balloons. So let's just say one fourth of the loop has turned around this way to line up behind the guy that's at the end, right? Okay, so we get behind that one fourth of people, if that makes sense, and get the end of this line, which is the continuance of the loop from the people in the beginning of the line. Okay, so here we are standing in line, just patiently waiting, casually conversing with the other people that were there in line, having a good time. Honey, <laughs> my granny just keeps, <laughs> keeps like nudging me to say like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but every time I turn around, the guy at the end is making eye contact with me and telling me that the line is closed and I just don't understand why he's saying that. And y'all, that was so funny to me because she didn't just say it once, she said it multiple times. So I could only just imagine her turning around because the guy was being overbearing. I don't know why he was doing this. Every time we turned around and looked that way, he was like, no. Basically, y'all get out of line, the line is closed. Mind you, here we are, we're literally seeing these people still go through the loop because they have a sign that says they don't stop to 5.45, it's not even 5 o'clock yet. Like, what's going on? What's the problem? Hilarious. So we finally get up to the line. Kids is melting, passing out, just doing the most because they're like, we just want a balloon. And they keep saying that we're not getting a balloon. And it was just crazy. <laughs> What kind of balloon you gonna get, Riley? I'm gonna get a rainbow, and I'm gonna get a heart, and it's going to be a pink heart. A pink heart? Okay, Remy, what kind of balloon you gonna get? Okay, so we got past that. Let's just go and take a sip. Just take you a moment to take a sip of whatever you got, because you're gonna need Okay. <sighs> Meltdown number one is over. We got the balloons. We got a sword and a dog. I kid y'all not. My oldest daughter, Riley, she gets a sword, she gets a pink sword. Okay, before I know it, she done poked the lady that did the, the balloon in her eye. And I'm just oh my God. And we're like, well, in her defense, the lady hit her on the nose like this. Like, you know, just playing. But yeah, my daughter said, boop, in the lady face. So, okay, we pass, We fast forward through that. Everybody, my youngest daughter got her balloon. My second youngest daughter got her balloon. She got a little dog. Raleigh got the sword. Okay, here I go. I'm going to get a balloon. I'm going to get a balloon because I waited in two lines that they said. It's really three lines because the first line that they said it wasn't a line. Then I went to the one-fourth of the line from the loop. Hey, go back and listen to the story if you forgot what I, was, what, what I had said. Go back and, 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 and know. So yeah, the one fourth line, and then the final line that we ended up being able to get the balloon. So here I am in line, so I get a wand. I kid you not. I look over to my second daughter, they got the dog. I look over to my second daughter, they got the dog. Why is the balloon already messed up? How did Remy already break her? Riley, relax. You too rough. Relax. Relax. I'm like, 
I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's a line. They're already telling people now again, and I think they mean it. The line is closed. We're not doing any more balloons. So I'm just, I'm just like, okay. This is just what comes with being a mother. You just, you have nothing to yourself. Nothing. Obligated to give her mind. That's what it's like having kids. Everything you have is partially theirs. They're going to want it. They're going to scream for it. So just give it to them. So I did. I gave my wand to her and part one of the meltdowns were over. We were good. Okay, part one with the meltdowns were over. We were good. Okay, so now we go to um, the face painting. They wanted face painting little bit about my husband he's a little bit of a germaphobe so he went over there to check the line for the face painting mind you the lines are crazy everywhere because again this is a free event everybody is there so we go over to the line and he's like i just can't do it and i'm like what what's going on and he's just like i just can't do it so i'm like okay so i just look over there they were using the same brush for everybody but we're at a free event and this is what they're doing right so no problem we're just not doing it okay melting occurs again because i had already told them that we were gonna do face painting my fault i apologized let's keep going so we keep walking around the event just trying to try to look around and see what all they have to offer so by this time i think it's like already 5 40. mind you the tree is supposed to be lit at 5 45. So we start to walk over to the tree lighting. We see that it's a lot of commotion, so we stop. We end up passing the place where my husband and I got married. Okay, this is a full circle moment. This is where it all began. This is, we gotta capture this moment. So we stop, we try to take some pictures of the twins. Twins weren't having it. I don't know what it was. I think they got the one year old blues. Twins are not having it right now. They just wanna sleep. They just wanna be in their own space. They don't wanna be bothered. Okay, so we try to take pictures. No, I mean they're okay. I will insert the clips right after this so y'all can see. But look, look, babies. One, two. Nah, that didn't go that good. So we keep going. We keep going, we gotta cross the street. It's one more light to get to where the tree is. So we're going and I promise you, it's like literally 200 people in like, I don't even know. It's like maybe a block, not even that we have to walk to get to the tree, the mayor's tree or whatever. So we're trying to go there, but it's literally so many people, it's so many strollers, it's just so much. And I'm not saying anything about the strollers because I had a stroller, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. And it was crazy. It was <laughs> absolutely crazy trying to get over to see the tree. It was so many people. And just forget about trying to take a picture of the tree. What's wrong? That was all I could get. And I just wasn't even worried about it no more. Um, so, yeah, we finally got over there. Where we were when they actually lit the tree, when they turned the lights on, it's like we literally could only see the very top of the tree. So I guess what we really went for, we didn't even really get to see. But overall, it was a great experience. Um, we really enjoyed it. The only thing, it was just not the day for content. It was so hard to get content with four kids. For all the parents out there that are getting it in with the content, with the kids, hey, kudos to you. From one parent to the next, kudos. Because shit is hard. But we get it done. Period. It's, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Maybe we can do some more videos like this. Um, y'all just let me know. Oh, and then on the way to the car, so I, like I said, where the event was was Clyburn Park in Dallas, which is in the Performing Arts District. We passed the symphony. A group of people, they were like, hey, we seen y'all like some really cool people. I have tickets for the orchestra tonight. Um, I forgot, I think it was Pop Fun. I can't remember the name of the one that's here now or like the name of the performance that they're doing right now. I think it was called Pop Something. Anyway, he was like, yeah, y'all come. And I was like, 
Because if you know, you know, the orchestra is high as hell. He was like, we got box seats. Couldn't even go. But it was a vibe. It was an experience. Um, we had fun. We just didn't get to get no good content. But that's okay. Because we're keeping it pushing. We're on day three, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, comment, tag a friend, tell somebody, send it off, put it in a group message. I don't even care. Just run them views up, please. I know if we need to do more story time, watching, and we'll see y'all later. We are posting every single day in December. So hit those bell notifications because Vlogmas is on. Vlogmas is now. And we are doing this. There's no turning back days for us.